tremendous ball game today. Um, hats off to Mississippi State. Congratulations on the, the regional win. Um, tremendous experience for our guys. Um, the the Starkville community has been been amazing for um, for our fans, for our families, for our team. Um, first class operation. This is the third straight regional that we've had the opportunity to to be in, and fourth out of the last seven years. And, and this is as first rate as um, of an experience as we've had. Um, you know, obviously we we. Um, you know, had some opportunities in the game and, and a hard fought game. Uh, super proud of our guys. Um, super proud of uh, the the fight and determination and perseverance. Um, we had our pitching staff on fumes and guys just don't care. You know, I mean, we went freshman, uh, sophomore, freshman, um, <laughs> you know, in a regional final game. Um, some guys that, that got a chance to be pretty good. So, um, 11 seniors that, that had the opportunity and, and chose to come back um, after uh, 2020 got canceled. And uh, I told them, and, and we talked about it after the game, that uh, essentially our, our goal every day, we have one goal every day, is to try to leave the uniform a little bit better than how we found it because time is finite. We, we don't know when time's going to run out for each of us. Um, some of these guys, it'll be the last time they put on a college uniform. Some of them will be the last time they put on a baseball uniform in a competitive um, mindset. Um, all the loss, all the challenges of the last 18 or, or 20 months, um, our guys didn't give up. They didn't shy away from the fight. Um, and, and they certainly uh, stamped their legacy as, as a team and a group of, of young men that um, – that left this place better than how they found it. We'll start questions with Chris Clark. Chris, go ahead and bat lead off for us. Coach, uh, I wanted to ask you about the performance of one freshman in particular, Harrington, to come out there and to uh, shut things down, hold things firm the way that he did. Uh, gutsy, to say the least. What's your take? Yeah, um, Thomas, obviously, Friday didn't have a great outing against VCU. He's been, uh, he was freshman of the year in the conference. Um, he's, he's, uh, he's special and, um, you know, and and they're a good offensive club, and um, and and he held his own and, and came out there. I think he threw four or five innings, and and um, really just gave us an opportunity late to to strike back and and be within striking distance. Um, he's going to be a special one, Cade Boxrucker. Um, you know, I know you asked about Tommy. He's going to be a special one. Cade Boxrucker is going to be a special one. Freshman starter, a um, little bad luck there in the first. We didn't play real clean, um, and. Um, our freshmen and, and our young arms are pretty good, and uh, they got some serious stuff. And, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to those guys continue to develop and, and, and give us an opportunity um, to win one of these things here in the near future. If I could follow that up, uh, not so much about the game, but looking back over the season, each team is different, each year is different. What are you going to remember, take away from this uh, team, if you will? I, I think that, you know, I talked about it a little bit last night. You know, we got to about the midway point. We fought through, you know, a bunch of adversity in the fall. We, we had five team practices, full team practices in the fall. Um, we got shut down at one point for 25 straight days um, that we couldn't be at the facility. Um, our team could not be at the facility this fall. Um, so we basically had no fall um, as a team. And, and, and for us and for our culture, it's really important to be around each other and together. Um, and so we had a lot of catch up to do in the spring. And, um, you know, then we then we got shut down for about seven or 10 days, um, you know, with with a couple of positive covid tests there at the end of March. And um, and and we were 10 and eight at the time and, uh, you know, essentially looked at the seniors and just said, hey, what do you want this to look like down the stretch? And 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 they just hey, coach, there ain't nothing you can say. There ain't nothing you can do that, that's going to bother us. Um, we're going to take charge of this deal, and, and we're going to run this thing out. And that's exactly what they did. Tremendous April, tremendous May, I think 12-1 and one going into the conference tournament um, to give us an opportunity to, to get into the postseason and um, push us to a, to a second straight um, regional final. And, and um, I'm just going to remember those dudes just, just – 
there's nothing that's going to break those guys. Um, they're probably the strongest um, mentally tough group of dudes that, that I've been around in. in 18 years. We'll go to Steve, then Evan next. Steve, go ahead. Coach game really seemed to settle it appeared from Mississippi State when they bring Houston Harding into the game. You know, what, what was he doing that made him so successful? What were you guys kind of reading off of him? Yeah, um, just the, the, the changeup was really good today. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit more of a straight change, um, but the speed differential was um, – was anywhere from like 14 to 17 miles an hour with with comparable arm speed and so had a little bit of ride on the fastball um you know kind of kept it you know thigh to to belly button height which can give you some trouble um with a little bit of ride and and some of the swings that that our guys have we we like the ball down um you know and so then he caught us a little bit in between speeds hey you know we're sitting fastball he's mixing with some change um okay we're gonna sit change up right here and and, and so um, you know, he just did a great job, man. His tempo was really good. Um, he pitched with some emotion. He, he got out of some jams um, against some really good hitters there in the middle of our lineup and, and uh, certainly earned it, you know. And then, you know, uh, but to our guys' testament, um, you know, we got to him there, Wolf with the push bond, and then, and then Matt Christian settling in, singles through the left side. And now all of a sudden, you know, we got a chance to, to do some things. And Marcus Scundrich comes through with the, the, a big hit off of, uh, the guy they brought in after. But, um, yeah, he was really good today, man. And, and um, you know, tip of my cap to, to Coach Lamonis and, and to take the starter out one-third of an inning in, um, you know, and go straight to that guy. And, and he was able to settle in and extend the game for him. But, um you know, proud of our guys for not running and hiding and, and, and continue to fight through that. Evan, go ahead. You mentioned wanting growth with your program. What does it say about not only making a regional two years ago, but going farther in this year's regional and, and continuing to build on that growth from last year to this year? Yeah, it just means that that we're inching closer to, to busting through one of these things. Um, you know, ultimately, um, you know, where we were 14 years ago when we showed up on campus coming off of 2007 and 11 and 45 um, record um, walking in the door um, in the fall of 2007 to where we are today three straight regionals two straight um, two straight three seeds an at large bid first time in school history um, two straight regional finals um, pushing pushing Mississippi State to the brink here um, not that that's a moral victory but but we're 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 better today than we've ever been. Um, what's the next step? You know, we, we want to get to Omaha. We want to punch through and get to the Super Regional. We want to we want to do what Coastal Carolina and Dallas Baptist has done and, and Southern Miss has done, and we want to host regionals. Um, we need to continue to, to build our facility. We need to continue to um, push the limits um, within our program to to have a facility. You know, we're, we're not going to draw 15,000 people, um, but we need a we need a mini duty noble, man. And that's 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 what we need to get to um, for us to continue to grow and, and to continue to, to get to where I believe that we can get to. Um, that's the ultimate goal. We, we want to be in a position to, to host regionals. We want the home field advantage. Um, we don't want to be, um, you know, here in maroon and white. Um, we want to be be here in orange and black, um, you know, back and forth in, in, in a nice stadium. And, and uh, we got the groundwork for that, and, and we got a plan to get us there. Um, and we're going to have to push and, and, and grind um, and, and keep building our program brick, brick by brick um, to get us to the top. Kyle and uh, Coach talked about uh, leaving the uh, program a little better than uh, better than you found it. Um, uh, making the uh, regional this year, uh, third straight. I have to feel that uh, with your career here, that you've uh, definitely done that with uh, with your time there, Cam. Uh, yeah, I'd like to believe so. Um, I like to think that you know it's not necessarily um, you know quantifiable in wins and losses and going here and there I, I think it's more of the of the culture that we've built and um, just kind of the grit that we bring every single day um, like I kind of said last night like you guys really get to see our brand of baseball and, and that we can come and compete with some of the top teams in the country um, with whoever we got that day and um, you know it showed today so to, to me it's more of a, a culture a brotherhood type thing um, leaving it better how we f or better than we found it, rather than 
um, you know, wins and losses type base. So. You know, every team's unique, and if I could follow up, I know each season's got a little different flavor to it. What are you going to take away from this squad this year in particular with everything you've gone through? Uh, we had, I think I said 11 the other night, something close to 11 uh, COVID seniors choose to come back. Um, so that's part of the foundation. Um, but really just watching these young guys just flourish, man, like – Watching Bryce Arnold, you know, go and DH for us the entire year and hit over, you know, 325, 330. Um, Zach Nenna winning player of the year as a COVID freshman. And, um, you know, Connor Denning being his first full year. And, you know, that's our top three right there. Um, so uh, just being able to watch those guys has really, you know, meant the most to me. And it's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. Thank you. It's been a great season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Evan, go ahead and hop on in there. Oh, and we see that emotion at the end of the game. For you and the seniors, what, what, what pours into that, that emotion and what kind of the feelings you have to celebrate your last game with those guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, what, what an atmosphere to do it in. That's, I've talked to plenty of the seniors. I said, like, we're going to give everything this weekend, whatever we got. Um, but what an atmosphere, you know, if it's going to be the end, what a place to do it. Um, so I'm just so glad that we got that experience together with everything that we've been through with, you know, being on the on the bus um, headed to Charleston Southern and, and, you know, getting a text from coach that our season's over basically um, and not knowing what we're going to do. And then just knowing that we got any sort of chance um, to play again has just meant the world. Um, and so when we, you know, when we broke at the end, um, our last couple moments on the field, that's that's what I told everyone is just thank you guys to have for, for letting us have this opportunity to come back and whatnot. That That's that's something I'll never forget. The wins and losses come and go, but as you, as y'all know, the the relationships are going to stay. Spencer, uh, I want to ask you about uh, the game today. First off, uh, locked in, uh, didn't have any trouble seeing the baseball. Uh, was it batting practice? Was it no sleep? What uh, what had you uh, so scoped up and ready to go today? Off that guy. I mean, I don't know. I was just ready to go today after last night's performance. Honestly, I just I knew what I needed to do for the team, and that's just grind out some at bats today and. Uh, try to get this win today, and that's what I did. Looking for anything in particular off that home run? Got up under it a little bit, but just enough to get it out of there. Right? Oh, yeah. No, just searching for that fastball, trying not to miss it. I know each team is different here. Uh, each season you've been there is a little different flavor to it. What uh, What are you going to remember, take away from uh, this one in particular there, Spence? I'd say, like Wolf said, just watching everybody grow, like the freshmen, obviously the seniors that came back. I mean, we just – I mean, it's just it's it was just so special to watch and just go through everybody just just grinding all the way through through getting canceled in the fall and and just just coming back, being ready to go, grinding through everything. I mean, I just remember that the most and the friendships, everything, the brotherhood. Thank you, Spence. Thank you. Robbie Falk. Spencer, the fans in the outfield, I know they can get rowdy out there and get into it with the outfielders, but as we saw the team out there uh, after the game, getting congratulated, getting fed. What was your experience like this week with the fans here? Uh, this is probably the best experience I've ever had. Uh, this place is awesome. I mean, they love me. I love them. They, and they fed me all the time. I mean, it was just a great experience. I, I got I got no words. I loved it.